I don't normally like to review movies like this, ones that are based on true stories about actual hardships that people live through, because it feels like I'm reviewing a part of a person's life, which I guess technically I will be, but it's also been turned into a movie which I do like to talk about. So, okay, we'll, we'll give this one a shot because not only did it take place in the province right next door to mine here in Canada, but it's also sort of centered around growing crops, canola specifically, which I've had a building interest in for years. Questioning the quality of what I eat, not growing canola, just to be clear. <laughs> Percy stars Christopher Walken as the title character, and let's see just how much I can remember about what is actually going on. That's another problem with stories like this. When it's a story about like a big corporation taking on the little guy, it's usually quite complicated because that big corporation is trying to put one over on, well, everybody. Percy is a granola farmer in Saskatchewan, and his family has been doing it for generations. He calls himself a seed saver. I guess it's a style of farming. This is not a topic I'm too familiar with. Essentially what he does is he goes out and he finds the absolute best, most resilient seeds every summer, and then he saves those for the following grow season. He's then accused by this huge corporation of using their genetically modified seeds uh, seeds that have been engineered to withstand being sprayed with Roundup, the weed killer. And as far as the corporation is concerned, Percy stole it from them. And because it is an engineered product, there is a patent on it. And they confirm that it's growing or that these seeds are on his land because they take a soil sample. Is that even legal? It's all very complicated. Basically, they say he stole their seeds and they want a settlement of some cash and all of his seeds. Percy, being very much a believer in hard work and not backing down, immediately refuses to pay that settlement and seeks out the help of a lawyer who's actually played quite well in this movie by Zach Braff. Something about Zach Braff, even though, like I said, he did a fine job in this movie, there's just something about him, at least for me, that still comes across as very childlike and innocent about his, like, his looks and his demeanor. He just did such a good job in stuff like Scrubs that it's hard for me to kind of get over that. So I guess I've typecasted him in my head. We'll give it some time, I'm sure it'll get better because he's a really good actor. Getting back on track, Percy and his family team up with this lawyer and they take the corporation to court, which as you would expect, even if this wasn't a story based on a true story, doesn't go so well. Things continue and the situation attracts the attention of Becky, played by Christina Ricci. Becky is, uh, well, she works for some organization that's, a, that's a fighting GMOs. Again, lots of this stuff goes right over my head because I'm not the biggest aware person uh, when it comes to stuff like this. Becky helps up organize support from all over the country and Percy and his family end up getting moral and financial support from everywhere. Becky wants him to keep fighting no matter what because that's gonna help raise awareness regarding the negatives of GMOs. And that's a big bonus for her. Now, I don't feel like I can really comment too much on the plot because it is what it is. Like, it, it happened. I suppose if I knew a little bit more about the actual story, then I'd be able to chime in on whether or not the movie follows the actual events, like, to the T or not. But this happened in 1998. I was a little preoccupied with stuff like Pokemon trading cards and Banjo-Kazooie, so I just have to take the story at face value, the story that the movie presents me. With that being said, it's a good story. It's a nice David versus Goliath sort of story. Which, fun fact, this movie was actually titled Percy versus Goliath, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not really sure why they changed it. I will say this about the plot. When it first comes out that Percy is being accused of stealing these genetically modified seeds, his community, in small town Saskatchewan, immediately shuns him and his family. Really? You always just sort of assume that tight-knit communities like that would have each other's backs when stuff like this happens. It was really heartbreaking to see in the few scenes that they sort of presented it in, and I really truly hope that it was something added just for the sake of the movie. If not, if that actually happened, shame on you, Bruno Saskatchewan. What I can comment on are the performances, and Christopher Walken is clearly the standout here. I believe he was about 78 years old when they filmed this movie, and he's still an incredible actor. He takes on the role of this no-nonsense, don't-take-any-crap-and-get-the-job-done farmer really well. And seeing the entire process that this character, 
person goes through is quite inspiring. Christina Ricci also does a really good job as a sort of go get them devil slash angel on Percy's shoulder. I hope we start seeing her do more stuff more often. I feel like she's been gone for far too long. And as I mentioned, Zach Braff is good. It's just, he's a little hard to take seriously as a lawyer. Just a bit, maybe that's just me. If you aren't familiar with him, then it'll probably be just fine for you. And even coming from me, who I, you know, I had a little bit of issues with him, when it comes time for his final argument, he delivers that superbly. Like I said, he is a good actor. I just have quirks when it comes to him. Like a lot of these stories that get told and then retold, it set a precedence. I mean, of course it did. Why would we want to watch a story that doesn't go anywhere and just ends up leaving us feeling like crap? It's really nice to know that there are people out there in the world, especially during the times that we currently live in, that are willing to fight back for what is right. Percy is definitely worth a look if you just want a good story filled with the strength of the human spirit and you need a break from the loud and crazy sorts of movies that we get on the absolute daily. It's comparable to stuff like Dark Waters, Promised Land, and even Spotlight. So if you enjoy those movies, this is right up there with them. So what about you? Have you had a chance to see Percy yet? It's probably getting lost in a lot of the higher profile movies that are coming out right now, but check it out. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below, and I'll see y'all in the next one. I believe he was about 78 when they filmed this movie, and he's still a great actor. He took on the role of this no-nonsense, don't-take-any-crap and get the job done.